So today we're going to be drawing and labeling a phospholipid and show you what it's made up chemically. All right, now we're drawing the head of the phospholipid, which is hydrophilic. And then we will move on to the fatty acid chains, which make up the legs of the phospholipid. As you can see, or you will be able to see in a moment, on the right leg of the chain, there is a double bond. This makes it unsaturated and gives it semi-permeability. Uh, now we're showing you what the phospholipids look like when they make up the membrane of the cell. As you can see, the hydrophilic heads are on the outside and inside of the cell whereas the tails are in between the heads. They are hydrophobic, so this stops polar molecules from traveling through the membrane. Uh, next, I'm going to talk about phospholipids. The hydrophobic tails are shielded away from the polar water molecules that are on the outside and some on the inside of the cell. It gives the bilayers permeable, semi-electively permeable properties which means not everything can travel through it. Uh, polar substances cannot go through. The hydrophilic heads are attracted towards the water. Um, because of this, the structure is able to maintain itself, and I guess the phospholipids move laterally to keep their structure. Okay, and uh, as you can see, these are the functions of the membrane proteins, the proteins inside the membranes. Uh, the proteins do a lot for the cell. Uh, passive transport is when you transport molecules without using energy. Uh, osmosis is the diffusion of water across a semi-permeable membrane. Um, simple diffusion is the movement across a concentration gradient, high to low, but it can be low to high. It's just very rare. Facilitated diffusion uses proteins to move solutes across the membrane. Right, active transport, for example, would be a sodium-potassium pump. It uses a protein and energy from ATP to release sodium and in turn take in potassium to the cell. This is just an illustration of transport vesicles and how they move things outside of the cell. Endo and exocytosis. Uh, the fluidity of the membrane allows vesicles to secrete waste and other materials, and that's called exocytosis. And when those same vesicles take in materials, it's called endocytosis.